Our quarterback, David Bagley, standing <laughs> by. I know we're excited about football, but some folks may want to go to the beach today. They may have other plans. Was that a good pass? I yeah, yeah. I was going to okay, pass the good. clicker to you, Jeff. I don't even know if that's how you pass a football. Yeah, pass you don't want me other. on your team. Yeah, exactly. Uh, David's got a good forecast, though, <laughs> for yes. football weather. Yeah, a touch of fall this morning, waking up with temperatures in the 40s and 50s. So it probably won't be the best beach day with temperatures forecasted close to 70 along the coastline. But if you are heading to the water's edge, there is a moderate risk for rip currents across much of eastern Massachusetts and a high risk over along the seacoast of New Hampshire into portions of Maine. So you definitely need to be careful of that. We do have a high surf advisory for portions of the seacoast of New Hampshire and into the midcoast of Maine as well going on today. Temperature at Boston Logan Airport, 61 degrees. We've got lots of sunshine out there and those dew points were in the 60s yesterday. It's the way we measure moisture in the air. They drop into the 40s overnight. So it's a dry ear mass, nice crisp ear mass. Noticeably, um, more noticeably today, are the gusts over 20 miles per hour. So it is a windy day out there. And I just stepped outside and I said, hey, yeah, the wind is definitely cranking over 20 miles per hour. And that may make you want to grab a light jacket as you're heading out this morning into this afternoon. You may be able to lose a jacket. Again, temperatures mostly in the 50s to the north and to the west of the city. We're at 60 degrees once you get down towards Plymouth, even down towards the Cape, a pretty decent start. But that breeze is making it feel a little bit cooler. Very hot across the west, and that's going to stay put. But some of that heat's going to make its way into the eastern portions of the United States later on this week. And that will actually move into portions of New England as we head into Friday, Thursday and Friday, feeling more like summer. Right now we have an upper level system over Quebec. We have high pressure to the south. We have a cold front that moved through last night, brought us that refreshing air mass that we're dealing with right now. So plenty of sunshine, but we will see a few clouds over portions of northern New England and a couple of sprinkles and showers possible over the higher elevations with highs in the upper 50s there. Across southern New England, we're in the mid to upper 60s, probably kiss 70 degrees in Boston. Again, plenty of sunshine. Need to grab that sunscreen because that sun will be out all day. Across northern New England, as we take you hour by hour, there, there are the clouds. By 3 o'clock, seeing a few sprinkles across the higher elevations. Even out towards the Berkshires, you may have a sneak sprinkle. But other than that, it's a great day across much of New England. Temperatures dropping back into the 60s through this evening. 40s for lows across northern New England overnight tonight. Some 40s across the western and northern suburbs of Boston. And in the mid-50s for lows. Tomorrow, though, we'll start with sunshine. We have an upper level system that's going to try to sneak through New York tomorrow. By the evening, we're seeing a few showers breaking out um, out towards western portions of Massachusetts. And then they quickly move into the Boston area, scattered in nature. Really not a huge deal, but we'll just mention them because we really don't have much precipitation to talk about over the next 10 days. Those are out of here by Tuesday, leaving us with more sunshine. And we'll continue to see sunshine right through next week. The breeze will be kicking up today. Some gusts over 25 miles per hour, closer to 30 across the higher elevations. Those will diminish overnight tonight. Highs again tomorrow in the 70s, a little bit warmer than it is today. 60s further towards the north and west. Let's take a look at that 10-day forecast. We have a touch of fall to start the week, and by Wednesday, Thursday, summer makes a big rally. We could see temperatures in the mid-80s in Boston. Merrimack Valley wouldn't surprise me to see a couple of 90-degree ratings by about Friday. Back over to you guys. Well, would you look at that, Jeff? Great weather. <laughs>